you know, psychologists uh, diagnose and fix problems in the mind. Sociologists, they diagnose and fix problems in, in the society. I see. Did you manage to fix any problems within the society? <laughs> uh, no, not, not really, because it's, you cannot just fix it with normal therapy because it's, you know, it's for society is much bigger than the you know, human mind, so it's, uh, everyone has to bring a little bit of it. Of course. Studying sociology, where do you see power comes from? It's, it's a complex matter because there's on, not only one answer to that, mm -hmm. but uh, it is something you can feel from whatever pressure you 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 see, whether it is at the workplace, uh, at school, with fa families, sometimes with our own friends, it's um, it's tricky because often it's invisible. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to social norms, you know how to behave, how to dress, how to speak, and lots of people judge you uh, according to that. Mm -hmm. the, they just look at you, hear your accent, and then make a judgment. And from there, they can, you know, uh, decide whether they they, uh, they want to hire you or the, the they want to to be friends with uh, with them or, or or not. And then you have more visible uh, forms of power, with, for example, the police, um, mm -hmm. with uh, the the judicial system, and, and and so on. So it comes at like diff different levels, but ultimately, it's. Um, it's not, you know, not only politicians, it's also, you know, it's every institution we depend on, whether it's, it can be healthcare, it can be education, uh, and it's also down to people's culture, uh, people we meet in, in the workplace, uh, again, mm -hmm. at, at school, what education are our kids receiving, uh, so it's all different forms of, of power and that ultimately put pressure on people. Would you say or have any advice for people to sort of have some kind of protection? How do we protect ourselves in terms of powerful societies, you know? Like, for example, education. Some people have decided not to send their kids to school. Would you say this is a way of protecting a family? What's your opinion on that? Yeah, I think there's many different alternatives. Mm -hmm. And uh, thankfully, uh, to some extent, we are not. Uh, it's not compulsory to send kids to to the school. We can choose, and I think this is a great freedom we have because we can decide uh, what do we teach the the, the kids. Because yes, yeah, sadly, uh, one one thing is the the school were never designed to teach people how to live. They were designed to train people to be part of the workforce, and that's uh, it hasn't mm -hmm. been corrected since uh, like since then. So it, it has to come from somewhere, and of course it's uh, it, it's tricky nowadays because not everyone can afford to homeschool their kids. Not everyone has the time, so people are a bit trapped. But they, I see different alternatives. Whether you know there's like these homeschooling communities when parents are not available, there's one parent doing homeschooling for many kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, when it comes to, thankfully, there's many people who have similar ideas mm -hmm. and similar objectives and because it's difficult to be on the, in the society on our own. That's so true. we need to find people who are like minded and so we can basically create our own networks, our own communities. I agree with you completely. And what we see in today's society, communities are being affected slightly. We used to be very strong communities together uh, in terms of everything that we do. And now, I don't know if you see it too, uh, the communities are not as powerful and engaged as they used to before. Uh, and I'm not sure whether this is part of the... It was affected, obviously, by the pandemic and things like this that happened. Do you see the positive side that these things will shift back and come back to normal? If we say so. Again, you know, the, the, the society we live in is not really built for um, collectivity mm -hmm. in, in the sense that um, it's possible, but it takes a lot of effort because everyone, especially when it, it comes to, you know, people from minority backgrounds, people who are not in positions of financial stability, everyone is in survival mode. And the par people's priority is, you know, literally pay the rent, pay the bills, uh, and, and, to, and to survive. Uh, especially now prices are rising, so 
it's it's very difficult for people to have the time to find other people and, and unite the because this is how the system is built mm -hmm. but it's it, it's possible in the sense that i've seen this happening in countries where the culture is a little bit different different like in france for example even if people are working even if they have their kids and families I think the social dimension in France is very important. Mm -hmm. So people, even if they don't have the time, they make time to see each other, to go to each other's houses, to have uh, meals together. Yeah. And uh, because somehow, I, I, I don't know, it's very complex for me to explain, but I, I found that also in people here in the UK who are not born in the UK, mm -hmm. that it's more natural, you know, because here in the UK, the culture is people are very individualistic in general. Mm -hmm. And it's very rare for people to invite each other. But I always see with friends who didn't grow up here in the UK, it's easier, you know, to just, you know, invite each other, spend an afternoon together. Um, because this is, I guess, how we've been socialized. But at the same time, on a human level, it's uh, it's very, very important. 100%. I mean... Uh, nowadays, I almost feel like people get surprised when you say you're invited, come around to our house and be like, oh, really? Like most of the meetup now are happening in cafes, in restaurants, and it's like no one even know what their, their friend's house looks like anymore. But alhamdulillah, at least we have that sort of mentality that we are in, you know, our houses are open for friends to come and hold into the community.